Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Life Spain. Uh, what we're gonna do today is this is uh, this is just a guide on the playthrough of the Demon Hunter. Uh, my thoughts on the Demon Hunter, some tips, tidbits, and whatnot. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm playing Life Spain currently. Uh, I've already done the uh, the legendary uh, weapons on uh, on Havoc. So this is Vengeance. Um, so I'll go over just briefly. Uh, as a recap, you know your stat priority. It's mastery uh, increases the damage reduction of demon spike, um, and then you have and here's demon spike over here, so you can kind of see what it does. Um, then you have crit, and you're probably thinking why crit? Well, because vengeance increases your parry, which is pretty important. Um, then number three on that one is as going to be between haste and versatility. I actually think versatility has a higher importance. But I don't have any versatility at the moment, so I'm a big zero goose egg percent, and uh, so I am tracking haste. Um, and you can't see where I'm tracking that because my ugly mug is right there, whoop, right on that chat, because I'm trying to protect any privacy thing. Anybody that's talking to me over there, I don't want anybody to read it. So um, that said, now uh, my rotation, I'm going to start out with my infernal strike, which is basically it's your heroic leap. Uh, followed by Immolation Aura, which uh, brings in from the Paladin's Consecration. Okay, then you have um, you have Shear, that basically it, it brings out it, it it takes a shattered soul from your uh, from your target. All right, and then you have Soul Cleave up here, which absorbs it it breaks the shattered soul uh, shattered souls and uh, absorbs them, so that is what heals you during the fight. Okay. Then you have your damage reduction, which is your rune tap. You know, it's your um, your demon spikes. So, what else do I have? Well, um, kind of like a monk, you have these sigils, uh, where monks have um, touch of karma, touch of uh, death, uh, and there was a couple other ones, Diff diffuse magic, these different runes and stuff like that. Okay, so. Um, so I have basically all of my uh, controls down here on the bottom bar. I have my my racial, uh, which is Arcane Torrent. It's a minute and a half cooldown. It's, it's an AOE silence, okay? Then I have another AOE silence, which is a minute. It's the Sigil of si Silence, which is pretty cool. Um, I have a Sigil of Misery, which is a crowd control um, that causes uh, disorient disorientation and they cower in fear. So it's basically like your Intimidating Shout. Uh, then I have a Sigil of Flame, which is very similar to um, the Reign of Fire, where you have a target location. You can send it over there and cast it and stuff like that, except you don't have to channel it. So um, so th that's, these are my controls on the bottom. Um, at the top, I have the Empower Awards, which is uh, like Diffuse Magic. It is a, a, re a reduction in magical damage. Um, I have your uh, my single Consume Magic, which is your Interrupt. Um, then I have the Soul Cleave I talked about. Then the Fiery Brand, uh, which is a, um, uh, it's basically another dot. Um, but it also reduces damage, uh, to damage reduction for you. So I have that. Hey, sick kid. Um, then I have a Taunt, uh, which I will use if I have to bring somebody to me. I use it as a pull more than anything. But then I also have Throw Glaive. Um, which does uh, generates a high amount of threat, so it's an AOE pull if you if you have more than one character because it hits two additional targets. Um, so I have that ability. All right, so that's what I'm working with now. Let me bring up the Mun macro that I'm using uh, for this particular character because I think this is is going to be of most interest to uh, to the viewers. To, I mean, if you're into that sort of thing. All right, this is my mount macro. Okay, um, it's not widely out there, I'm not even sure it's out there at all. Um, but this is what I've done. Okay, so um, you slash cast. Okay, then you and you basically copy this. I don't know if I can make it larger or any, anything for you, but you do um, you do a bracket, no mod, no combat, outdoors and flyable, and I can have a flying mount. If it's a non-flyable area, it's going to revert to the next one. No mod, no combat, outdoors, no flyable, and then I'm on the I'm on my fell saber. So it just automatically defaults that. If I'm indoors, then you can. So then you go no mod, no combat indoors, and I'm going to use my glide on there. If I have a charge or something like that, um, I would also put that there. 
Um, so it's basically a choice thing. All right, so now if I'm in combat, okay, so I have no mod combat, um, this is where my metamorphosis is going to be. All right, and then if I have the mod to end out the macro, I'm going to use my spectral sight. So what does that mean for me? It means I don't need spectral sight over here. So it frees up my bars. I don't need metamorphosis over here, so I can put something down in my middle mouse button. And we're basically set to go. All right, so that is a really interesting... Um, uh, macro if you if you want some if you want to know more about it or any of my other macros or if you want me to write a macro then just type in the comment somewhere and uh, and we can get that done for you so this is just a really cool macro uh, uh, about you know you, you pick a couple favorite mounts uh, and some other abilities I use it a lot with my uh, with my warlock because I'll have like you know burning rush in there for a charge or or whatever for my warrior I'll have my my charge in there for havoc I'll have my fell rush in there uh, so sort of depending on what I want to do so hey baby girl so uh, yeah and the only thing I haven't covered is your imprisonment basically it's another type of CC uh, much like banish for a warlock that said okay I've already picked up a quest uh, one I have one since I picked up leather working it's for legion and go ahead and close this out it's, uh, you know, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to track this. Um, stop tracking that. So I am on the Call of the Iladari. I have to go see El Tourist the Sufferer, and we're going to start this thing, okay? I don't want this to video to be very long. I'm glad Corvass was able to find you quickly. We are all that stands between the Legion and Annihilation. Don't all right, so I've already done the Havoc, like I said. So we're going to go Vengeance this time, and hopefully... Um, well, hopefully it's the same, uh... My life is dedicated to destroying the Burning Legion. So, uh, yeah, I'm not using my, uh, um, my war glaze. I got a couple swords here, actually. But uh, I'll, I'll end up replacing those Azeroth with the blades once fall. they show up. Just a couple cool, you know, it's, that'd be a little bit different, but it matched my, uh, my Demon Hunter ability. Uh, what blades are these? What blades are these? Um, they are the Talon of Ashara, and I have the Agility Illusion on there. So they actually look uh, really cool with what I'm doing on this character. So, so okay, take the Eldraki War Blades from Kara Fell Soul. All right, Kara lies the very hard legion there, and you'll see our forces the melee. Deep. Yeah, failure is not an option. However, whatever, whatever, whatever. This is not a rescue man, and the power of the uh, Aldrachi Warblades could tip the scales, and uh, Alari and her men are expendable. Okay, so, alright. So, no so, what, she took the Warblades for herself, is what I'm getting? But she uses a two hand staff. Um, she uses that. Uh, that's, that's, that's odd, so, okay. It's a little different now. Um, now, when you do the Havoc ones, uh, and you're... See, I'm on the Broken Shores at the moment. I can't even back up. Is that you? Finally, some good news. All right, so you you end up right here um, when you're doing Havoc. Um, and I really wish I could show that to you guys. Uh, maybe at some point I'll re-roll a Havoc, and then I'll, and I'll do the playthrough or something. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll just be, by then, by the time I actually get around to doing something like that, you guys will probably already be like, this is old news and who cares? Alright, what are we doing here? I do miss not having a buff. Oh, you know what, what we didn't cover here? Um, here, here's my talent. So I'm Vengeance, right? Uh, here's your Demon Spikes and stuff like that. But okay, so I'm Vengeance. And what I what we didn't cover? I, I wanted to do Agonizing Flames... So my emulation, my emulation area, which uh, area, my emulation aura, which I use very much like the Paladin Concentration. Um, what it does is increases your movement speed by 30% when you have it on there. So that's your movement, right? I love it. I love it. Does deals 50% more damage. You can't go wrong because I'm always keeping that thing on cooldown. Uh, I just go into, I start it pre-fight. Uh, pre and go in there and just start. That's just my that's my consecration. If you played a paladin ever, then you know what I'm talking about. All right. So why I chose that over abyssal strike, uh, which isn't bad, but it's not great, and uh, and over razor spikes, which you don't need at all because your demon spikes isn't about doing damage. You want 
the uh, damage reduction. So uh, you don't need to have that. Uh, that. That makes no sense at all. So I wouldn't even do that. Abyssal uh, Strike's not horrible. It basically gives you a range of 10 yards. Um, and the, But the, what's cool is the cooldown is reasons. That's the only reason that I, I might consider taking it is for the cooldown. So 100 talent. You have the Feast of Soul. Soul Cleave. This is all Soul Cleave um, on 100. Okay. So Soul Cleave heals you for a hot. Um, not bad, not bad. Soul Cleave heals you for a shitload anyway. So, uh, you don't need a hot on top of that. Really. Um, and you're not a healer. I mean, you're not, you're, if you're out there soloing and stuff like that and you feel like you need it, great. But you're not a healer. You have healers to do that for you. Alright, so I chose Fallout. Um, it's completely passive. Your uh, Immolation Aura's initial burst has a chance to shatter more... Lesser soul fragments from your enemies. So you, so that is cool to me because not only is your sheer shattering lesser soul fragments, you have emulation that's doing it now. You do a soul cleave on top of that, you're hitting more and more and more heals. There's your heals. You don't need to feast the souls if you've got heals from your primary damage abilities, right? All right, then you have burning alive, which goes back to the emulation or uh, aura. Every two seconds, your fiery brand deals whatever, 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 whatever. Nah. Nay, Nicodair. Nay. So, um, you know, you hit one dan you hit one guy for just a, a fraction of a little bit of damage. Not even enough. I mean, it's like a mosquito bite. He's like, get off me. Right? And, and that spreads to two other people. Uh, and that spreads to two other people. Really, I mean, if if there was some, if that was thirteen thousand damage, okay. Now you're talking about something I'd be interested in. This, no. I mean, if you're gonna be a passive, if you're gonna have a passive ability, have it do something for you. Don't have a passive DPS. That doesn't make any sense. Eh, whatever. So uh, that's what I did. Let's go ahead and get this thing um, done. I'm sorry about the, uh, the complete sidebar there. Caria left me for dead. So, all right. What do you want me to do? Destroy the Legion of Portals. All right, I'm on it. I will join you as soon as I am able. Who is running back here? Who is that? Just a, a regular old demon hunter who's running and scared and stuff like that. Okay, whatever. So I have to destroy these uh, these portals. Nice. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm keeping my... I don't even need to have my demon skin active here. Hey, yo. Okay, this is interesting. We're going to go up here and grab some more. Alright, get some soul here. Get my healing up. So basically, I have to shear all the time because this is what's going to build my uh, my abilities here. I have seven shores. Of, yeah, you can't die. Basically, you can see you can see the number of soul shards or lesser soul fragments that are happening out here, right? I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, I did uh, my my uh, my sigil of fear or whatever sigil of uh, blah, 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 misery. So yeah. You can see, see this is so overpowered, I just need to get up here and get this done. I can sit here all day. Maybe if I got a, if I had some XP out of this, then I would totally be doing it. Hey, don't run away, dude. I was coming after you, man. So yeah, I can, I build up the, the soul shards, you know, you need to stop doing that. Interrupt your dumbass. You know what? I want to try. I want to this do here. After two seconds, what's it going to do? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Here, let's go ahead and get some five of those soul shards. It's just something you're going to have to monitor in the back of your head, I think. Well, you're just not dying, are you, bro? Okay, let's get four of those short shards. There's five more. You just keep yourself healed as long as you're watching what's going on here. Okay, I need to uh, not be focused on this. I need to focus on over here. Wow, that 
that was like a big SP there. What do we got here? Another Illidaria Forcer. So this is how that goes, man. You see, and I, I can go and, and fetch the soul shards. I don't need to go and, uh, and and sit there and go hunting them. I can see what I'm saying. But the soul cleave will get them for you. So not bad. You see those corpses? Their souls have been torn right out of their bodies. Right out of their bodies. What do we got here? I have um, I have two uh, doom heralds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill them both. All right, so we're, we're going to start off with the Sigil of Silence, okay? So I'm going to drop that right in the middle, and so it'll be after two seconds. I need to get a little bit closer here, so I'll give you an idea. So, boom, then I'm going to go into here, and boom, and boom. So they're silent for six seconds. Now, I also have my, my AoE. There's my, my AoE, my racial pilot. Now I'm going to interrupt this girl here. I'm gonna go capture some souls, keep me up. You can see the power, the sheer power of, of, of a vengeance. Oh, Gorgonash. Alright, bro. Come fetch me, dude. Can I just attack you straight off? Because I feel like it. Is this a viable option in, D in Legion? Oh, well, hell yeah it is, dude. This is a viable option in Legion. Is vengeance... Hit. You're hit. Vengeance is super strong in Legion. Um, absurdly so. The war are worth any sacrifice. You know, I see something cool. You can see the guy there. But... Uh, See, see, I got three, four, uh, one over here, a bunch of imps over there, five, six, seven, all right, at your uh, spectral site. So I know what I'm going to be facing in here. Follow me. Now we got some. Now we got some business here, okay? Now it's not so bad because um, I'm also dealing with. Uh, I should finish them off here in about a few seconds. You still alive? You're still alive? How many more of these guys have we got here? Need to cut it out, bro. I'm not a fan of what you're doing here, so. Yeah, absurdly, ab absurdly overpowering. Uh, you go into, uh, like, PvP at the moment now, and everybody is basically just being two-shotted. Ooh, what was that? I don't know, but that was pretty crazy. I didn't, wasn't paying attention on what I was running into, so. Okay, so he's going to be an asshole. Um... He's going to go ahead and get a soul shot out of you. So it, uh, that was something, something beat the hell out of me there, so I'm going to go over the top of it. The Legion is only the beginning. My blades fall upon power from beyond. Kara, what'd you do, dude? For every soul I claim, my power grows. I didn't want to spare. I think, uh. I 
can't plant myself, so that's unfortunate. I go ahead and get healed up here with these soul shards. That was unfortunate. I tried to um, interrupt that and it just didn't work. So what's up? What's up? What are you doing, lady? I'm dead to you. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, you're immune. Yeah, get my ass kicked here. Get off me, dude. Super easy, super fucking easy. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? That was it? Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh, dude. That was easier than Havoc was by far. Maybe just because Havoc couldn't do the, uh, the deep. But that's not true because Havoc is amazing. We must depart. I could have just hearth. In fact, I gotta move my hearthstone over here. I usually keep it on my bars over on this side. Ah! All right, so I didn't get a chance to put it in there. You're no big. Alive. I'm alive. What do you think? Okay, I got some rations over here. I usually keep my food on this bar, and I usually keep my uh, utilities on the other bar. So. So that was that, and that is my thought on the matter. Um, are vengeance viable? Oh, you know what? Yeah, dude. Yeah. They are um, as strong as the Blood Death Knights when Blood Death Knights first came out. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, nerf them, please. Uh, don't nerf these guys, Blizz. Don't nerf these guys. These guys are awesome. Um, totally fun. There's a lot of things, dude, that you have to control. So it is a very difficult class to play. It's not difficult to play. There's just a lot of things to manage. If you're good at managing all of the different things, um, by all means, dude, enjoy it. Um, Havoc is so much easier. It is more of a just uh, fell rush, bam, bam, you know, and thank you, ma'am. So uh, this is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to wrap this up here. It wants me to go to uh, to Vengeance Landing, which is your class hall, right? So we're going to fly over here. And you know that you can, uh, so you got your glide here, and you can move. And so there's no time on your glide. You're just going to fly. So um, see, I'm going to see if I can be perfect here. And go, I see your hunt was a success. <laughs> I had no, no doubt, doubt it would be. So this is your class hall, uh, and Legion just outside of Dolan. Use your glaive to rip open the gateway to the Feldhammer. So, yeah, I'm not... Uh, Alright, we go ahead and open up this, and we're going to go to Mardoom. I mean, you might as well see it, and I might as well go ahead and show you it too, right? So, okay, we're done, done, dude. This might be a little interesting, so we're going to end our video on this note. Oh, gosh darn it. I forgot the Shivara had a quest for me. I forgot to pick it up. My bad, guys. A little bit of a noobish move there since I was used to it. See what other cool videos we get to watch. If any. It's been far so here's your here's your class hall. Welcome to the Fellhammer. I sacrificed everything. What have you given? So we want to activate the uh, Fellhammer, which was a ship that we took uh, from the initial um, the initial starting zone, uh, but we didn't know how to activate it because we didn't have the power. Well, your artifact weapons have the power to do this. So, um, yeah. So now you become, with your ability to control the Fellhammer, 
you become the super champion of the Demon Hunter. So yeah, here's our dude, man. So that's kind of a little cool weapon, right? I mean, it's a war glaive, right? But it, it's. What about the coil scar? You may call upon the coil scar as well. What about them sexy beasts, the Shavari? Our mission is not yet complete. We are all yours. We will follow our champion into battle. And we will strike oh, down the legion <laughs> once and for all. Glory to the Illitari! Ah. Yes, I can see. The legion will fall by our hands. Don't follow me. All right, so he's going to show me down there. What they found in the Fellhammer was the forge of, of the Legion weapons, or one of the many forges that the that, uh, that the, the Legion uses for their super powerful weapons. So, yeah. Glorious. I'm a little ahead of him. We uncovered an ancient Nathrasim forge, used to create many of the Legion's most powerful weapons. We've guarded it carefully ever since. I think it will prove quite useful. Uh, let me run up here. Alright. I thought you were going to follow me down, do so. Right. Must remember. So, obviously. This is why I'm saying in the previous videos, uh, oh, I'm going to end up taking some of those videos off. Um, but this is what I was saying. I, this is, uh, ever since playing this, this is why I'm going to main, main uh, a Demon Hunter. Uh, this has just been one of the most uh, amazing experiences since I first started as a Fury Warrior. Uh, and that was way back in, in uh, the original World of Warcraft, what they call Vanilla. Um, yeah, this has been uh, so amazing. In, in fact, uh, after Burning Crusade, I stopped playing my... Um, I stopped at level 70 because, um, you know, they changed what warriors were doing and uh, and it, it lost its appeal to me. So, um, Demon Hunters definitely brought that back. So, Blizz, please don't change them. Everything about what you're doing for Vengeance and Havoc, I absolutely love. So... I hope that uh, you guys who are watching this would love this as much as I do. Alright, so what we're going to do really quick, we're ending this on uh, on basically here is my weapons and, and here is my gun and everything like that. So um, we're going to go ahead and dump our artifact power. This is what you, uh, you're building artifact power by doing the quest lines and everything. So make sure you hit your side quest too, because they'll uh, you'll you'll get more artifact power by doing the quest lines, not just uh, the side quest, not just the main quest line, the storylines. So make sure you hit those. So I'm gonna dump my hundred artifact power into this. Boom! This is gonna show you where your your destiny lies. So we hit this one here. Here's our start. We went this way. We can go this one, this way, or that way, and then from there you're gonna follow a path. Um, this is very reminiscent of how Rift does its um, its power, its PvP power and, and whatnot. Uh, when you hit, uh, I believe it's level 50 on, in that game. So it's very, uh, really similar to that. If you never played it, well, it's your loss, really. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I hope that any part of this video has been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down here. Please like, please subscribe, and keep in, and stay tuned for another video. Thank you for watching. Life's Bane out.